Hi, so in this video, we will see the example of fanout exchange. So let's get started. So as per the concept, fanout exchange does not require any sort of a routing key. It's just a broadcasting the message. So we are interested in the queues, the, the queues which are being bounded uh, using the bind with any of the exchange will all get the messages. So let's first start it. First of all, we'll import the library and then we'll declare uh, the variable for the URL of our RabbitMQ using the user and password and the host. Then we will create a variable for exchange name, fanout exchange name, so my fanout exchange, and then we will create a two queues because we have multiple queues will be bound and it is the example of the broadcasting the message. Then we will do a send and receive both the message over here for the sake of the simplicity. So the send message will take exchange and messages. We won't have any sort of route key, routing key as discussed. And then we have a receive message. It will take only the queue name. Okay. So now in the send message, we'll use a try catch. And for catch any error that and we'll use the same for receiving message so first of all because we do have the variable for the connection so we need a connection so connection is equal to amqp dot connect and that is in url it will return the connection object and using the connection object we will create the channel okay and then we will have to declare the channel because we need to check whether the ch uh, action is there or not if not then create the exchange and the type is fan out so two parameter assert exchange exchange and the type and then we will publish the message using the channel dot publish so we'll pass the exchange the routing key would be the blank and the, the message uh, in form of the byte stream from the string the original message is a string and then we'll convert it to the byte and then it will send and then we'll log and close the all the resources so we'll simply log whether the message has been sent successfully or not and then we we'll close the resource similar way we have a receive message and then we'll have uh, in the receive method we will have again need a connection and channel and then we will again have to assert the the queue because we need multiple queue so we just declare the queue or assert queue whatever name that you can give we have to bind this queue with the exchange so we will channel dot bind the queue norm and the exchange and pass the routing case plan and then we will have a callback method whatever the message uh, you receive sorry you have a callback method here so channel dot consume it will pass the queue and the message so we'll just log this message received message on this queue particular and queue name and then message dot content dot to string and then at the end we'll acknowledge the message so that the rabbit mq can remove the message from the ready queue to unacknowledge uh, sorry unacknowledge and ready and it will processed At last we uh, write a consume so that it will continue waiting for the message in the queue and then we'll use the to send messages method for and to receive message so first of all we send the message using the exchange and pass the message it will not even pass the queue name or routing key automatically whatever the queue which has been bound with this exchange they will receive the message and then we'll have a receive message we'll pass the queue name and queue to both will be bound inside the receive message okay so looks pretty good let's try to run so node app.js so we can see message sent to the exchange that is message one message sent to the exchange message two 
waiting for the message on the my uh, fan out q2 and the another is q1 my fan out q the two q are waiting and then we have received the message message one on q2 message two on the q2 and the message two in the q1 okay so that's it uh, that's a pretty simple example of the fan out exchange so see you in the next video for another exchange example.